Oh, what was math like for me in school? Okay, I have to give you the honest answer here. So I went through mathematics schooling back in Australia in the 1970s when things were very unenlightened. In fact, I did not like mathematics one whit as a kid in school. I could do it, but I was bored to tears. Though I will have, will have to tell you, there were two incidents I recall in my life, my schooling life, that actually I did think spur me on to become a mathematician. But they're both kind of negative stories, which is kind of a little sad. The first one was in grade five. I remember asking my fifth grade teacher as we were doing these worksheets, problem after problem after problem, just practice, wrote, drill, why is negative times negative positive? And the answer I got back from my teacher was, it just is. Now go back and do your worksheet. That made me angry as a fifth grader. And then in ninth grade, I had another experience like that. Uh, we were learning about the Pythagorean theorem for the first time, and I remember my teacher back then, back in Australia, public school, 37 kids in the classroom, very hot day. Our teacher said, okay, get out your rulers, protractors, and all that sort of stuff, and draw yourself three examples of right triangles. So there's one, here's another one, and I don't know, something like, oops, not very rightish, respect that the right angle. There's a third one. And what we had to do as kids was get out our rulers, measure one side, measure the other side, measure the hypotenuse. Of course, they had to be called A, B, and C in that order. Don't know why. We had to work out A squared, we had to work out B squared, had to work out C squared, had to add A squared and B squared, and we meant to magically notice that it always equaled C squared. Now, I had two problems with this as a kid. The first one was, I believed no one was actually seeing A squared plus B squared equals C squared because A, no one can draw perfect right triangles, and if you did have a perfect right triangle, no one could measure exactly perfectly. I bet these sums were slightly off. I let that one slide, but I did ask my teacher the second concern I had. And I raised my hand and said, excuse me, how do we know that this didn't happen to work as a coincidence 111 times in a row? So 37 kids, three examples each. How do I, which just wasn't pure coincidence. And guess what my teacher said to me then? Go back and draw another three triangles. And that made me really angry. And I realized right then and there, if I were to understand why the Pythagorean theorem was true, it was gonna be up to me to figure out for myself. And I did, it took me years, but I did. I think that negative experience actually spurred me on to go to mathematics. And it wasn't until university that I, that I hated math in school, that I even didn't want to be a math major. I went and became a physics major instead. So the trouble with physics courses, you had to do lab work, not for me. It wasn't until I took my first abstract algebra course that I just happened to stumble upon that, that I realized, oh my goodness, this is what mathematics is, and I felt like I was home, and I finally understood why negative times negative had to be positive, and all sorts of beautiful things. It was that moment that I realized I truly was a mathematician, and what mathematics really, truly was. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.